It is 714. While many in Northwest Baltimore are counting their blessings this morning just to be alive after yesterday's massive explosion. Today the cleanup begins and the damage is significant for so many residents in that area from broken out windows to blown in doors. This morning attorney Charles Gilman with Gilman and Bedigian LLC joins us live via Skype to really walk us through how to file a claim. Charles, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Megan. It's always a pleasure. You know, Sorry from, it's under these circumstances. Ex exactly. So many people either having property uh, damage or even injuries uh, to themselves. How do you know if you're eligible to, to even begin the filing of a claim? Well, I, you don't need to know if you're eligible to file the claim. If, if you have an injury or a loss, property loss, you should file a claim. And then once the claim is filed, figure out if you're eligible because, you know, a lot of times you're eligible to file a claim, but the homeowner's insurance carrier or somebody will tell you that you're really not eligible. Um, anybody can file a claim, but eligibility is something that if you're being told the answer is no, you're not eligible, mm -hmm. you should really talk to a lawyer um, about that. So the first step, calling a lawyer, filing the claim, you know, who is held responsible at the end of all of this? But that's an interesting question, and, and we have to wait until we get to the end of all of this to make a determination as to who caused it. For example, if it was somebody's stove that caught on fire and they were cooking, then they may be responsible. If it's a faulty gas pipe, you know, I read or understand that a lot of these gas pipes in this area were laid in the 1950s and 1960s and may have been failing. So if there's a failure on the end of the utility company, the utility company is ultimately responsible and liable for all the personal injuries and property damage that were caused. When you're trying to figure out who's responsible, we know sometimes that takes uh, an investigation that can take time for those folks who need the money now to, to put windows back on their house or their homes. How long does it take normally to get reimbursed? Well, if they have homeowner's insurance, and most people who have a mortgage in Maryland are going to be required to have homeowner's insurance by the mortgage company. So they can make a claim through their homeowner's insurance, and hopefully their homeowner's insurance will cover their losses. And then if it's later determined that it was somebody else's uh, fault, such as BGE or the utility or another utility company that laid the gas pipe, the homeowner's insurance company will pay now and seek reimbursement from the actual party that was liable later. Because as we know from the other five, other gas explosions in our community, sometimes these investigations take years to, to wrap up and have a final conclusion as to who was ultimately, ultimately liable for it. Um, so the goal would be to get your home, homeowner's insurance to pay for it now, and then they'll seek the reimbursement because obviously the insurance company has plenty of money while most people don't. All right. Charles Gilman, thanks for shedding light on this. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you, Megan. Have a nice day. You too.